Okay, five minutes. <laughs> I need to finish this edit in five minutes. I need to stretch. But I might need some help. Coffee oh. on the table, headphones locked and tight. I'm warming up my fingers for a long, long night. Head spin left, preview window. Head spin right, timeline flow. Bounce and ready, feel that fire. Tonight I hit it like my life's on the wire. I'm powering. Hey, Connor. And you are doing what exactly? I'm stretching, so I can edit the video really fast and get ready. And thank you, you can go now. But just, I can do it. So, you're okay, you're good. Big guy, wow, just keep doing it, nice. Hey, hello, my name is Andres and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna be talking about three tools that are great if you're one of those editors that you're concerned about saving time. And yes, we already talked about these features in the previous What's New videos. If you haven't seen them, go and check them out. Uh, but these tools, these three tools are great combined if you want to make things much faster. They feel basic, but they are not. We needed these tools a long time ago. Let's jump right in. So first we have dual timeline. And actually, I don't know if I have to tell you how good this is or how important it's going to be for your workflow. But just keep in mind that you might be a very organized person and, you know, maybe at the beginning you have some time and you go, oh yeah, I'm just going to make the sound effects layer and the dialogue and the music and then transitions are going to be here. But then they start overlapping, right? And it can be as chaotic as it can be, especially if the deadline is approaching and then you're just rushing into the creative and you stop thinking about how you're gonna build the timeline. Dual timeline in Filmora 15 is actually gonna help you with all that mess. I mean, no, it's not gonna go and clean your timeline that you'll have to do it by yourself, but it's gonna save you time. Let me quickly show you what it is. So let's say you're working on a small segment of your video. Normally you will make that into a compound clip just to stay organized. So Filmora is giving you both timelines, your main edit and your compound clip as tabs. And if you drag one tab slightly upward, now you have two timelines on screen at the same time. You can also drag clips between timelines. It all becomes instant. So this isn't just saving a couple of clicks, it's actually saving the mental energy of switching context. Oh wow. Now let's talk about source and timeline preview. Basically when you are editing you are comparing two things, you know, the clip that you want to use next versus the edit that you already have on your timeline. So this one is simple but it's actually super powerful. You now have one viewer that shows your source clips and the other one shows you your timeline preview. The cool thing is that you can drag the windows and actually resize them and place them whatever you want. This is the kind of features that doesn't surprise you at first, but once you start using it, you realize how you ever edit without it. I forgot to turn these lights on and I'm halfway into the video. So I think it's not a big deal. Just let me know if you think that's important. And finally, we have sub projects, which basically means that you can now import past projects into your new project. This is great because whenever you have a workflow, let's say that you have your YouTube channel and now you have to use like a segment, a bit of your video and repeat that in every single video you upload before you either export and just start uploading that as an export. But of course, quality and you are stuck with that piece of segment the way it is. So yeah, that wasn't helpful. So let me show you how it works. You just click on this drop down menu and import sub projects. Hit open and there is going to be a new folder which includes your project and also all the compound clips within that project, making it super easy just to jump between them. So this tool is going to save a lot of time because it's going to help you say goodbye to those repetitive edits. And that's it. Just basically try to put all these tools together and then you realize how much time you actually save. And if you can, just drop us a message with any idea you have or any type of video or effect that you want us to do, and we will check it out for sure. Thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on the channel. Keep creating, and I'll see you next time.